Well, there are two steps for setup to make your disclosure form super easy moving forward. One is here called compliance settings. And the second is up here under settings. We're going to do smart conditions. So remember, these two steps are only going to be a one time setup. Start by clicking compliance settings found under the me menu. Then make your selections as you'd like them to appear on your disclosure forms going forward. Next place for setup is me settings. Scroll down the settings page until you locate the spot called smart conditions. If your office administrator has already set up smart conditions for you, you might see a list that looks like mine. Do you have your Ontario disclosure to borrower, MPP insurance reminder, and do you have your client consent for credit? If they're not already listed, you're going to use the menu. This is a drop down. You're going to use this drop down menu, scroll towards the bottom to locate MPP insurance, click add and save. Go through that conditions list again and locate your Ontario Disclosure to Borrower fixed. Add and save. And under compliance forms, the client consent for credit. Add and save. That's it as far as setup. You'll never have to worry about those two steps again. Let's go back to our application now and create our disclosure forms. All the forms you create in Velocity are in the Conditions and Documents section. But before you do your disclosure forms, make sure your mortgage request has been updated and all the numbers are accurate. Now, since we set up our smart conditions, we have this little blue bar showing in the Conditions and Documents section. When I click the blue bar, it applies all of the appropriate smart conditions. At the very top of the list, I have MPP insurance and I would click it to expand. Hit the apply now button and it'll actually take you down to the insurance section where we can confirm which borrowers are going to be on the quote and then click generate form. Our insurance application has been successful. Great. Now click on the conditions section to go right back in and see your MPP form. Applying to MPP does add an extra MPP insurance line with a form attached to it. So I usually like to go up to my reminder line and just archive it so I don't have duplicates showing. Next, I'm going to scroll down to find my Ontario Disclosure to Borrower and I'm going to click to expand. Remember I said it's really important that you've updated your mortgage request section before you do this form because when I pick my submission product, it's going to pre-fill all the numbers for me. So I'll pick my submission five year. If I've made any mistakes, I wanna make sure I go back into the mortgage request section, fix any of the mistakes, and then I'm gonna click this little icon to do a refresh. You can input any kind of conflicts of interest. I would add them in here. Add any kinds of terms and conditions like prepayment privileges or additional comments. Expand the sections that come next so you know where all the information pulls from when your form is created. Material risks, referral fee details. You can see under other compensation where our compliance settings are kicking in. Fees and costs. I'm going to include an APR, add any legal fees or other kinds of costs. And under authorized person, I'm going to indicate if I am registered as a broker or as an agent. Good to go. Click create PDF and your Ontario disclosure to borrower will be created. And it has an amortization schedule attached. It's a two in one form. Close the disclosure form, continue to scroll down to my last form, the client consent for credit, expand, click create PDF, and you're done. You did it. You just created your compliance package. I'm going to compress each condition so I can see them all summarized, and I'm going to tick, tick, tick to select the three forms I want to send over to my client. Now I can click actions, I can send an email, I can set these up to be e-signed, or my personal favorite, I would send them using the client portal.